Hello again. So this is my third attempt at, well, the, that's my second attempt in the morning. My third, my second video of sharps because now I remember that the boom arm can do an overhead shot. But I did this whole thing just a minute ago, only it was on photo, not video. So the cat is a lot more aware of scales now than she was before, but you are not. So starting with C major, because we're doing this in the order of the circle of fifths, this happened to be the order of flats. So I might as well tell you B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. And if you want to do the order of sharps, it's the order of flats backwards or vice versa. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, B sharp. And remember in the treble clef, you don't want to go up to A because it's a ledger line. So you go down to A, it breaks the pattern of down a fourth, up a fifth, down a fourth, down a fourth, up a fifth, down a fourth. And the bass clef will copy that. But notice that you have the, um, it's in backwards. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, B sharp, or B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. So here's your sharps in the bass clef, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, B sharp. Now the scales, which is what I meant to be doing here, is for C major, no sharps or flats. C up a whole step is D, D up a whole step is E, E up a half step is F, F up a whole step is G, G up a whole step is A, A up a whole step is B, and B up a half step is C. C is the tonic, D is the supertonic, E is the median, F is the subdominant, G is the dominant, A is the submedian, B is the leading tone, and C is the tonic. Up a fifth from C, so there's no sharps or flats in the key signature. Up a fifth from C is G. The second half of the C scale is the first half of the G scale. G, A, B, C, D, E. To get a whole step now, you have to go to F sharp and G. So the pattern is always whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. It's a whole, whole, half, two sides of a whole, whole, half with a whole step in the middle. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. By the way, there was a mistake in one of my earlier videos. I was talking about fifths and I showed you a fourth. So when you find a mistake, tell me about it. There might be extra credit involved. G major has one sharp in the key signature. And um, I'm doing these in one take. And if I do make a mistake, I'm going to use it as a teaching opportunity to see who's paying attention and who's not, rather than go back and re-film. Although if I take a photo instead of a video, I will re-film. Um, so there's one sharp in the key signature because there's one sharp in the scale. Up a fifth from G is D. The second half of the G major scale is the same as the first half of the D major scale. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, new sharp is C sharp to make a half step from there to the tonic. In the scale, there's two sharps. So in the key signature, there's two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Up a fifth from D is A. The second half of the D major scale is the first half of the A major scale. A is the tonic, B is the supertonic, C sharp is the median, D is the subdominant, E is the dominant, F sharp is the submedian. The leading tone is your new sharp, G sharp, and a half step from that is A the tonic. So A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, new sharp, G sharp. Move these over. And 
So there's three sharps in the scale, which means there's three sharps in the key signature over here. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Up a fifth from A, one, two, three, four, five, is E. So your next scale in the circle of fifths is E. Up a whole step is F sharp. Up a whole step is G sharp. Up a half step is A. That's your first tetrachord. Then you have a whole step. Boop. Then you have a whole step is C sharp. Another whole step is D sharp. And up a half step is E. Where's my other E? So E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Four sharps in the key signature. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. So there are four, I mean, it's four sharps in the scale, so there's four sharps in the key signature. Up a fifth from E is B, one, two, three, four, five. So B is the next scale in the circle of fifths. If there were four sharps in E, there'll be five sharps in B. B, D sharp, E, just kidding. F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and the new sharp is A sharp, and B. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. There's five sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp in the scale. So there's five sharps in the key signature. Up a fifth from F sharp. F sharp's the dominant. The dominant becomes the tonic of the next scale. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. B is the only not sharp note in F sharp. C sharp, D sharp. Now we have an E sharp. Sorry, these don't always stay vertical. And then F sharp is your tonic. So you don't count that F sharp as a number of sharps. F sharp. C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. So there's five sharps in the scale, which is why there are five sharps in the key signature. The tonic is F sharp, the supertonic is G sharp, the mediant is A sharp, the subdominant is B, the dominant is F sharp, the submedian is D sharp, the leading tone is E sharp, and up a half step from the leading tone is F sharp. Then we come to our last key signature of sharp keys, which is C-sharp. Now, the sharps and flats add up to seven. C major has no sharps or flats. C-sharp has seven. Seven and zero adds up to seven. C-flat has seven. Seven and zero adds up to seven. D major has two sharps. Seven minus two is five. D-flat has five flats. So if you can do math and you can remember one thing but not the other, you can figure it out. So everything is going to be sharped. C-sharp, E-sharp, D sharp, just kidding. E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp is the leading tone. And there we go. So C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. E sharp and C sharp, but I don't have that final sharp. Now I'm going to go backwards and do it in the bass clef. I'm going to take these off because I'm not going to take the time for that. So in the bass clef, C sharp would look like this. C sharp, well, one of the ways it could look is like this. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, and C sharp. If you take away a sharp, C up a fourth is F sharp, or C down a fifth is F sharp. So the next scale in the circle of fifths going backwards in the bass clef is F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B natural, C sharp, D 
D sharp, E sharp, and F sharp. Down a fifth from F sharp is B, because we're going backwards in the circle of fifths. B, C sharp, D sharp, E natural. So we're losing a sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. Down a fifth from B is E. We'll lose a sharp. We'll lose the A sharp, in fact. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and we find an E, E right there. Down a fifth from E is A. We're going to lose the D sharp. A, B, C sharp. D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Down a fifth from A is D. We'll lose the G sharp. D will have two sharps. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Down a fifth from D is G. We'll lose the C sharp. And we'll have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, one sharp. Down a fifth from G is C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C is how it looks in the bass clef. So hopefully that took because I don't want to film it again.